What's up? What's up? Oh. There we go. How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? Welcome to another Saturday. Morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on where you are in the world. I hope everything's going good with you. CBS Sci-Fi showing me his uh, Iron Patriot, making me all jealous. Good-looking sculpt of Don Cheadle there. Love that. Uh, I did not go see Ten Rings yet. I watched the rest of Wonder Woman, and I went and saw the new Ryan Reynolds film, Free Guy, which I really enjoyed. Um, I recommend it if you're a Ryan Reynolds fan or a Deadpool fan. Um, Reynolds has done a really good job of um, creating a form of comedy that he delivers quite well on the screen. And it's his form of comedy. Again, it's a cute love story um, with some very small real-world issues, especially if you happen to play any type of a video game with an online presence in it. It's a really interesting um, world to those of you that do that. I play online games and love them. And uh, so I could relate to the way it was. Kind of essentially, if you're not familiar with the film, Free Guy, he is a um, in a game similar to, dare I say, Grand Theft Auto. and um, But he's one of the NPCs that was created for the game. And he develops... Uh, I guess you would say self-awareness and ends up falling in love with a person playing in the game. And the game moderators, the designers and such, think that somebody that's hacked into the game and is using an NPC skin and tricking everybody, which is something that people could do and um, in real life. And so uh, it's quite interesting as he falls in love with this person and this person falls in love with him, and, and this person doesn't know that he isn't an NPC and thinks it's a real person that she's talking to. So this this whole instance of uh, that, it's a really interesting story. Um, it's not necessarily predictable, uh, which is always a bad thing for a movie if you know exactly how it's going to end. Um, but it's a typical story. It's a love relationship, and uh, boy meets girl Boy falls for girl, boy almost loses girl, and then there has to be some type of an ending in regards to that. So it does go through the cycle, and, and so it's done well, and Ryan Reynolds delivers it well. So I would say go see it if you're looking for something, or wait for it to come out on stream and, and, and watch it then, or, or however that's going to happen. Um, but it's not streaming now, for fact, anywhere. But it's a nice movie if you want to go see a nice Love story relationship movie. I'll, I'll go see Ten Rings this week. I watched the rest of Wonder Woman. I started watching it last week. I watched the rest of that, and it's the first Wonder Woman, the one that came after Suicide Squad before Aquaman. And uh, um, I wasn't too disappointed with it. It wasn't a bad movie. It, was, it wasn't necessarily a, a stupendous movie. The problem I had with it was as they were trying to depict. Diana Prince or Princess Diana or whatever her actual name is in the movie. I kind of didn't really catch that, actually. Um, they were trying to depict her as naive to the world, okay? And uh, how she came across was stupid. She came across as a stupid person. There's a difference between being naive and being stupid. And uh, that's a fine line. And they pushed it over to the stupid side. And I, I really felt sorry for Gal Gadot's character that that's how they portrayed her. They were trying to portray her as being naive to the world, which she would have been, and that makes sense. But she just they just made her stupid. Kind of like how they end up making Lois Lane stupid a lot of times in stories. They just make Lois Lane stupid for no reason. You know, and um, I, I kind of hated that. There was no need to make her feel stupid. They, they, they were trying to make her naive, and she came across stupid. Um, 
I wasn't too shocked about who the bad guy really was. You know, uh, I didn't know who the bad guy really was. So that was kind of shocking. But uh, I had a feeling that the one the bad guy they were telling us was the bad guy really wasn't the bad guy, if that makes any sense. And I had no understanding of why they felt it was necessary to kill Steve. That didn't make any sense to me either. So I'm, I'm talking minor problems with the movie. As a whole, good movie. You know, the best movie of the four that I'd seen so far, we're talking uh, Superman. I forget even the name of that one. Batman versus Superman. Suicide Squad. And then Wonder Woman. So the first three movies were just a mess. This movie was good compared to all of those. It was great compared to all of those. But it's a good movie. So I have no problem with Wonder Woman. I didn't feel I was being pushed a political agenda. I didn't feel like I was having to be educated or talked down to or be embarrassed about being there or anything. It was just it was a good movie. So I'm happy to see that and, and applaud DC uh, Standard Universe or whatever you're calling it uh, over that. So I'm looking forward to Aquaman. I've seen Aquaman in the theaters. It's the only one I've seen in the theaters. And so I'm going to watch that again. And then whatever comes next after that, I'm going to continue watching them. I guess Suicide Squad's coming out in a month or so, uh, the reboot of that. So hopefully I'll catch up to, to that. And then I'll go see Suicide Squad in the theaters and um, see how that turns out. And I don't know if they're using any of the same actors in, in the, the, the new Suicide Squad or anything. So, Because I, I have not looked at anything on it. I'm also excited about the new James Bond movie that's coming out. With Daniel Craig, I guess this is going to be his last James Bond. So that's going to be sad. I hope they pick a good person to continue on. Ian Fleming's creation of James Bond. So I hope that continues on in the spirit of what Ian Fleming was creating. And it continues in that direction. So now let me catch up on chat. Since I was running my mouth there. See what all y'all are talking about. I watched the Spider-Man Homecoming to follow up on uh, MJ there. To see if she is going to be feisoned. And she is not. Her skirt was below her knees. So she'll be fine uh, in this body with this skirt. There's no need to feisten her out. She'll be fine with that body. Perfectly fine with me. Toy Mafia, good morning. Good morning. Mini Maker, how you doing, man? Good morning. Robert, just fans. Happy Saturday. I did, and I love the Iron Patriot. Oh, my God. Sheesh. You get all the best figures, man. Uh, Mark 7, yay. Yay. Yes. Yes. That one little piece on the waist, those two little pieces that hang off there, they're almost worth gluing on. Because every time you touch your figure, they're falling off. And then, you know, the, the top little things as well. So, yeah. Yeah. For real. And you'll start thinking to yourself, wait a minute, why the hell did they waste this entire figure on this flight pod? And that's why I started that project of making my own flight pod, which I need to get back to. I really need to, I really, I th what I think I'm going to do is like I'm going to cut a piece of metal in the shape of the body of it and stick that in there and then put some, um, some filler, maybe um, some two-in-one plastic mold or something like that along the seams and continue on with it. Because I've got the extra body that I've made. I bought a $10 Iron Man figure. Uh, and I forget which version it was that looks closest to the Mark 7. And so I, I've i totally cut it. And it's, it's perfect for a pod. And uh, I just can't, I just need to separate the body because the body's too skinny for what the Mark 7 should really be. It's just too skinny. So it has to be separated to fit everything properly on there. And when you when you separate it, you got to keep it separated. And I've been trying to figure out what it is I need to put in there. And I think what I'll do is I think I'll just put it in like they do with a plane. They have these, um, you know, these, uh, what you call them, but it's like a wall. So I'm going to see if I can maybe just cut out a, a, some, out of, like a loop. No, it'd have to be probably tin. 
cut it out of tin and stick it in there and put it inside that body to, to, to keep it open. And then where the seam is, I'm going to put probably some two-in-one plastic mold in there and continue on going from that. Or maybe just use some super some some um, uh, plastic cement, some plastic glue, uh, rubber cement. Because rubber cement you could use, you could fill it in along that uh, line there. Um, it has a tendency, however, to fall off of certain kinds of plastics. I may have to fix that plastic. No, I think I'll probably stay with a two-in-one plastic filling and maybe go with that. Or maybe some wood putty. Wood putty might work too. Sand that. As a matter of fact, you can make a wood putty out of, of uh, I think it's baking soda and um, super glue. I think you can do that too. I want to look into that. I'll have to see what that is. I don't remember what it is. There's a, there's a formula of using something with super glue that turns it into a putty that's good for filling stuff in. I might just do that. That'd probably be the best thing right there, actually. So that's my story on the pod, because I don't see the point of using two full... I mean, two full... I mean, you're using a tire... Iron Man Mark Seven. All the pieces are worthless. And you paid $400 for this for a pod. I mean, they could have given us the extra body. That would all the for four hundred bucks, they could have thrown the pot in there. But no, they make you buy a whole body for that. That's stupid. So that will give me two bodies and a pod. Da, 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 da. Also buying some comics. Oh, you're buying Silver Age. Wow. Wow. I hope you're getting those for a bargain. I don't know, but I think comics are not that valuable anymore. I don't know. I've not looked into comics in a long time. I got boxes. I got a got a couple boxes of comics, Spider-Man comics, and I don't even know if they're worth anymore, if anything. But uh, yeah, I just don't know if they're if they're worth anything. You probably I hope you're getting a good deal. They're good reads. Good reads. Dagger Ansis, how you doing, man? <laughs> At least Gal Gadot didn't sing. <laughs> and I'm not saying, you know, she probably has a beautiful singing voice. But at least they kept the movie, you know, serious as far as that goes, right? 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 That's what I saw was in-game, if you don't count Disney, MCU, etc. Oh, well, you need to... Uh, you need to uh, catch up on the Spider-Man movies that came after Endgame, man. You are missing out, Robert. You are missing out if you haven't seen the Spider-Man movies after that. A lot of good stuff coming out. Oh, and I watched the uh, the What If. Uh, this What If was What If Odin didn't uh, raise Loki as his own son? What if Odin returned Loki to his own people? Uh-uh. Don't know what I have to say about that. It had Chris Hemsworth in it. it had an all-star cast in that regards. I mean, Samuel L. Jackson, Colby Smothers, Smolders was in it. Uh, gosh, um, uh, Karen Gillian. Um, I, I was surprised to see Hemsworth. And I was happy to see Colby Smolders. And uh, um, Coulson was in it. And I was happy to see Samuel L. Jackson. Because um, a lot of times, you know, the uh, supporting characters are there, but I didn't expect Chris Hemsworth at all. So I was happy to see that. But it was probably my least favorite what if so far. Probably my least favorite. I mean, it was an interesting what if story. As y'all are, but it was juvenile, if that makes any sense. It didn't seem to be written with any seriousness. It really didn't. It, it was disappointing. 
It was just the worst one. So there has to be a worst one. It can't all they can't always be the best one, right? So it just wasn't my favorite at all. Yeah, Venom. Oh my god, yeah, there's a lot of movies coming out, right? Yeah, Spidey, Suicide Squad, Venom, Bond. Okay, thank you. you want my expertise? I'll try to I'll try to provide it to you. If not expertise, I'll give you an opinion. How's that? Can you help me find the pale equivalent of I sure can S23B? The Tifa figure I got is too big busted. And I think the pale version of 23B would work great. Let me get my trusty, dusty cheat sheet out here. Let's see what does the 23B equate to. 23B is the suntan medium breast interchangeable feet. So you're looking for the pale, medium breast, interchangeable feet. Is that right? Also, the 23B has athletic physique, more bulky leg muscles, with streamlined muscular definition. <clears throat> Now, to try to find a pail of that. Wow. Uh, you may be in trouble. S22A is, according to my sheet here, the S22, so are you looking at uh, PLMB2017 S22 is the pale, medium, interchangeable, athletic physique, more bulky muscles with streamlined muscular definition. S22s are hard to find. There's a problem with that. I don't know if you're going to be able to find an S22 easily. Um... I don't think I've ever owned an S22. I don't normally buy the pails in the first place, so that might be why I don't have it. Uh, but that's what you need. So the S23 is a suntan, medium breast, interchangeable feet, athletic physique, more bulky leg muscles with streamlined muscular definition. And the S22 is the pale, medium, steel, interchangeable, athletic physique, more bulky leg muscles with streamlined muscular definition. And um, I think between the A and the B is the head sculpt. So if, I don't think it matters whether you're buying an A or a B or an A or a nothing. So I, I don't remember on that what the A means. I've got 22A written down. But the S22 is the important part. The A or the B, I think, is the head, uh, if it comes with the head or not. I don't have I don't have anything written down other than just S22, so I don't I don't know. Um, that's what you're wanting to find. PLMB, Fison League or whatever medium breast, 2017 S22 is the one that you're looking for. That's the pale version of the S23. I hope that helps you. Good luck. Check eBay, check all the stores, Alter Ego, Giant Toy, uh, Big Bad Toy Store, 1-6 Kit, Toys went on everybody. It's 2017 body. So most they still make them, okay? They're still making bodies. Like, for instance, they still make the, um, gosh, the uh, 2014s, SO2s, SO4s. They still make those. So just because it's a 17 doesn't mean you're not going to get it. They still make it. Now, if you're going over with a Jow doll, uh, medium breast, detachable feet. Um, pale. 
ale skin. I think the natural is the pale skin, right? Brown wheat, new wheat, pink, black, white, new white. And I think the white is white. I think natural. So if you're looking for a medium breast, I think what you're going to look for is the JOQ10, JOQ10CYS. It's Asian body shape, so it's going to be thinner. So it's not going to have the athletic build that the 23 has. So if you're looking for athletic, then that wouldn't do it. But if you're looking for that color skin um, on a medium breast, that would be that. So I'm not sure if it's the build you're looking for or the skin color or what. But that might be something to consider as well. And I have that figure here if you want to look at that. GFQ10C. Right here. JLQ10CYS. JLQ10CYS. Oh, here I can show you this skin color on this. It feels empty. I ain't showing you the skin color next to that thing. Let me open up the JLQ 10 c ones. So this would be the Jow equivalent, if you will, for that body. And like I said, it's definitely not athletic. It comes with, um, I think you were the one that was asking about different head pegs. I forget who it was that was asking about that. It comes with different head pegs. This is literally just unscrews on this. So you can put different head pegs in there. Instead of having to fit the necks, you fit the neck to the head peg. Comes with the bikini. Interchangeable feet. The fingernails on the jowls are painted. Like the Fisons. You get uh, two trigger hands two fists for punching, two fists for holding swords or pistols. You get, um, I don't know what you'd call these, two, two finger up your hands. You get an articulated posing rod. You get a figure base. And you get an interchangeable either waist or crotch grabber. You can put either the waist around this or a crotch grabber to goes with it. So it comes with a lot of stuff, but it's not an athletic build. So those would be the two figures that I would recommend for your... church on the medium breast detachable foot pale skin but it's not athletic so I hope that helps 
And the jowls are like, uh, I think they're less expensive than the Fisons. I don't remember now that I think about it. But um, get them both if you can. See what works for you. I'd be happy to hear which decision you made. Did I already put one of these in there? All right, let's see the Fison boots <laughs> always big. Hey, uh, the gel dolls are bigger. The gel doll boobs are bigger. Bigger. Uh, one thing scares me on a Mark 7 is the midsection. Every time I pull out a section, I'm afraid I'll break it in half when it pops. Uh, you're talking about when you separate it to twist it? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Thomas, how you doing? Good morning. I haven't seen you in a while, man. Damon, how's it going? Suicide Squad. I'm hoping it's going to be better. I hope it's going to be better than the original one that they made that I just watched a couple weeks back. Ugh, that was terrible. That was terrible. You're welcome. You're welcome, Degarancis. Willie, how you doing? Better late than never. Glad to have you. Welcome, welcome. So everybody help me out. I was thinking of getting the last Armor Tony War. Lori Neals and says, I'm Iron Man, Mark 85. But I'm confused between Infinity and Endgame Armor. I want the last, 85. Mark 85. That's the last one. Mark 85. And there's a battle damage version of that that they sell. Mark 85. And I don't know if it's out yet. CBS Sci-Fi could tell us if it's out. He gets all the figures first. <laughs> CBS Sci-Fi? Is the Mark 85 out yet? CBS Sci-Fi gets his figures like three months before I do. And he sends me these beautiful pictures of them. What did he get this time? Iron Patriot. Oh, my God. He looks so good. My God, I'm still waiting on my rescue. How long ago did you get that? Like July? June? Oh. I need to I need to buy my figures where you buy your figures. That's what I need to start doing. Yeah, she needs uh, the attachable feet because she has two sets of her own, one boots and one thigh heels. Cool. Army War is Iron Man. What armor is that? Uh, looking for battle damage, not clean. Yep, they sell it. The Mark eighty five battle damage. I hope not the Thanos clean battle damage. Two versions. What would Tifa be a medium or a small? Because, because um, uh, uh, Robert, I, I guess you're talk, asking that because Jalma makes smaller breasts even. They make a small. Small, medium, and big. And they are not joking about big. That is the battle damaged Mark 85 and is not released yet. Thank you, Dagrancis. Mark 85, yes, but not the battle damaged one. There. And I don't think I got my Mark 85 yet either. Yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, I've got the Mark 85. But I haven't got the battle damage one yet. That's 85 right up there, right? Or is that the 50? Wait a minute. That's the 50, right? I don't have my 85 yet. Yeah, I don't have the 85. Gosh darn it. Wait a minute. That's the 50. So that's the 85. Right? 43, 44, 45, 46, 46, 47, 50 from Infinity War, 85. All right. So that's the 85. So 85 is out, but not the battle damaged. Da, 
da, da, da, da, da, da, da, da, da, da, yeah, I went, battle damage uh, with the gauntlet, uh, Thanos, and whatever to do is clean, yeah, there's the battle damage version of it, sure is, in fact, Thanos probably was being reworked because the damage looked too soft in person, that's right, I remember that, I remember hearing that, that they, uh, they were ready to release it, and they snatched it back, they sure did, CBS Sci-Fi, did you say, God, please don't tell me you have the Battle Damage Mark 85. You probably do. Do you have it? Battle Damage is being reworked. Okay, I already read that. Okay, I'll well, continue. I thought only one Mark verse. Yeah, Mark 85. Two versions of it. Clean and the Battle Damage, the final one. The one where he's like, and I am Iron Man. That's it. I thought it was only one version with Battle Damage parts. No, two, two separate MMSs. Tifa's a medium, okay. She's a large C, small D. What they put her on measures as a 32 triple D. Didn't know they're doing two like Thanos. Yeah. Oh, God, Thanos, they did like five of the gosh darn things. I, matter of fact, I stopped buying Thanos. I didn't order like the last Thanos or whatever it was. I was like, really? Come on, that's enough of that. I, I think I own... I, I think I own three. I've got another one to order, I think. I, I can't even remember. How many Thanos I have? One, two, I have three. I have three Thanos. And I've got one on order. And I think I passed on the final, absolute final one. And and I, I'm probably going to hate myself for doing that. But it's like, really? How many more Thanos do I need? Really? But I don't ever ask that question about Iron Man or Spider-Man. Can't have enough of those. No, 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 no. Cannot have enough of those. Cannot have enough of those. I got a. Sp <laughs> yeah, I got the one Spider Man before you, didn't I? Which one was that? Was it the, the Ock? Was it the Doc Ock one I got? The black and yellow, the anti Ock suit? I think that's the one I got before you did, right? Oh, speaking of. Uh. There's a San Diego Comic Con in November this year, some sort of a small version of it or whatever. So I've never been, so I have to go through the whole process of, oh, I better put these back in this, or I'm going to be angry. Oh, no, that's all right. I can keep this out so it goes in the drawer. Um, so today, in three and a half hours, is they start their pool. So for those of us who have never been to it, you have to go through the lottery system and be chosen to buy a ticket. So in three and a half hours, I'm going to be sitting on the computer hoping my lottery number gets drawn. So I go to San Diego Comic-Con in November this year. And then um, once, you're, once, you're, once you make it into the Comic-Con, then you're, then you're offered one every subsequent year after that. But you have to get in it the first time to be able to offer for it beyond that. So I've never made the lottery ever. So I'm going to try it again this year. See if how that turns out. My three Thanos, which is the best. They're different. So it depends on whether you want the armored Thanos or the not armored Thanos. And the original one from the Guardians of the Galaxy is wrong size. But he stays in his throne. So that solves the size problem. But uh, So that's Thanos in his throne and he's small. So you don't take him out of his throne. He stays with the Chitauri soldiers. And then you have Thanos with the armor from Infinity War, and then you have Thanos without the armor from Endgame. So it depends which one that you want. Which which Thanos speaks to you more? Which one do you like? Do you like the one with the helmet or without? That's what it matters. So it gets down to. Loco, how you doing? Good morning. Thanos on the commode. Yep, I sure do. 
I sure do. Bought it from the Guardians of the Galaxy series. I loved it. I mean, that was only Thanos for years. If you wanted Thanos, that was it. That's what you got. Now you got Thanos coming at your ears. Yes, it is. So they're doing a uh, this November is um, some sort of a smaller version of it. But if I get chosen for the lottery, then I'm in, in like Flynn. And um, I'll be able to go to the real Comic Cons. I mean, it'll still be a real Comic Con. It really is happening in San Diego. But um, uh, I'll be able to go to the ones that they hold in July or whatever it is. Yeah, they tried to do it in summer, but the um, COVID mask mandates was such a mess that uh, they weren't allowed to. So uh, they finally decided to just go ahead and go for it in November, hoping that the mask mandates will be relaxed enough. And it looks like as if they're increasing the mask mandates. But I think at this point, they've already spent the money on the convention center. So they're going forward with it no matter. And they'll just be making sure that everyone complies to California's very stringent mask mandate. So better bring your vaccination card. You better bring your mask. Better bring about 10 masks. Now, they might require you to double mask. There's no telling with California, man. That's where I live. And boy, I tell you what, we're crazy out here. Crazy. Crazy, I tell you, we are crazy. Crazy Californians. And guess what? Californians are the ones that run the country. Nancy Pelosi, California. California. California's Electoral College makes up 20% of the vote for the President of the United States. 20% of the Electoral College is determined by Californians. California, the single state of California, the weight of the Electoral College from California, 55 votes, makes up 20% of the requirement for who gets chosen to be President of the United States. Think about that. One-fifth of the vote for President comes from California. And we're crazy. Think about that for a minute. Battle Damage Thanos fighting the three heroes. How's my day? My day's good. My day's just started. Just woke up. Uh, I, mean, <laughs> I like them. They, they're, um, somebody released the throne a couple years back uh, to go with one of the other Thanos. If you wanted to try to recreate that, if you missed the Guardians Thanos, you could get probably the Infinity War Thanos and put him on a throne again. So, I mean, it, it's possible to still do that. And he looks good on the throne. He's staying on the throne because you take him off and he's like, you know, just a little bit taller than a regular figure instead of being like Hulk size, which is what Thanos is. I mean, Thanos and Hulk are like pff, same size. And um, if Thanos ain't the Hulk size, there's a problem. So, if you remember when Thanos fought Hulk on the ship... From rat from um, Jesus. At the beginning of Endgame or Infinity War. At the beginning of Infinity War, when uh, Thanos is fighting Thor and and killing Loki and and he's fighting Hulk. Hulk and Thanos are the same size. So, and that ain't. Hulk size. And it was showing a movie star wise. New York Comic Con is doing the same mandates. Yeah. So tired of masks. Yes, it was cool at first. Oh, it was, uh, uh, we get old. Yeah, I'm ready for it to be over. I don't know. I'm going to. Try to not talk about that because I got some pretty out there opinions. I'm not saying that COVID's not real. Okay. Yes, there's a real disease out there, a real virus out there that's that has been known to kill people. I'm not saying that COVID isn't real. But I got some other opinions that I'm going to keep to myself. I don't want to get them on this channel and get myself in trouble. But... Um, I'm fed up, tired of it. 
So that's what I'll say. But I'll comply. I got my I got my shot. I wear my mask. I do what they tell me to do. Yes, sir. No, sir. Right away, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Yes, sir. I'll keep my papers in order. Papers, please. It seems your papers are not in order. We need to take you to the concentration camp where we will verify who you are because your papers are not in order. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Think about that for a minute. I have no idea who's showing up at San Diego Comic Con. Hopefully, I will be. Hopefully. Yeah, Florida has 29 votes. I think California has the most out of all the states. I think California has the most. 55. 55 votes. It's almost twice as much as California as Florida. Almost twice as much as Florida. Add that up. It's two Floridas. Uh, two Floridas offset one California. Half of California just washes Florida out like it didn't even happen. Uh, so I got two boxes here. I um, And I'm going to go through this. Start with this guy and I need, I swear to God, I need to do something with this room. Oh, my goodness. So this is the IF001 Space Wizard from Infamous One Six Scale Collectible Figures. Figurines or infamous. Either infamous or infamous, however you wish to say it. One six scale collectible figurines, Space Wizard. And somebody told me that they're making the whole Black Order. That would be stupendous. I've got the uh, uh, Proxima Midnight on order. Um, I don't know if there was anyone else that they've made so far. Can you guys tell me who else have they made besides Proxima and uh, the wizard here? And I don't remember their names. As soon as you tell me their names, of course, I'll be like, oh, yeah, that's their names. I don't remember his name. I just remember, uh, come on, Banner, you're embarrassing me here in front of the wizard. But I think he was actually talking about Doctor Strange, the wizard. But then I remember when Spidey shows up. What's going on, Mr. Stark? And the wizard flies by and Stark says, That's a wizard. I'm on him. So that's all I remember about him. He seemed to be probably more Thanos' right-hand man than any of them. I don't know anything about him. Uh, as soon as I took this off, you see this hair is all coming out. So they... Probably did a poor job with that. Um, he appears to be shaped properly because he's a very tall man. Tall being. I don't know whether he's man, woman, or it. He's a being. He's a very tall being. That'd be a better way of saying that. Oh, yeah, I want to go see that uh, Top Gun movie. As a matter of fact, anyone heard anything about that? Tom Cruise stays away from San Diego Comic Con. Guy's nuts. <laughs> Bring Mel Gibson instead. Come on. You guys are terrible. Y'all are terrible. Terrible. Got the same options? Sweet figure. Okay, I want to pick up that third party 
uh, Mad Max figure. I love the Mad Max story. I love Mel Gibson. I have no problem with Mel Gibson. Papers, please. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, that's where we are, man. That's where we are. It's exactly where we are. That was the whole thing about living in the United States, right? Our freedom. Go anywhere. Say anything. Do anything. Not anymore. Uh-uh. We've lost our freedoms. A friend of mine works in a newspaper. Believe it or not, there's still newspapers. A friend of mine works for a newspaper. And we argue about First Amendment rights. As in he doesn't believe that people have the right to say whatever they want. I said, look, from my understanding, there's only three things you can't say in the United States. You can't yell fire in a movie theater. You can't say bomb on an airplane. And you can't say you want to kill the president of the United States. Those are the three things you can't say. Other than that, you can pretty much say whatever you want. Or you used to could. And he's dead certain that we don't have that right. People shouldn't be allowed to say, for instance, that they like apples over oranges. How dare you like apples over oranges? Oh, that's horrible. It's a horrible thing. Censor that person. He shouldn't be allowed to say that. Pretty sure my First Amendment rights guarantees me that right to say that if I want to. No, nope, people don't think that anymore. So, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I know you guys live in different countries. You have similar rules and rights and whatever else. And I'm not really talking to you, am I? Sorry. I, I mean, I don't mean like, I'm not really talking to you, so stay out. I just mean like, you're not, you're probably not on my page in regards to understanding what my bitch is, you know? So I'm just saying. I get you. It's like first world problems. Oh my God, my air conditioner didn't come on today. Yeah, I tried living in a country where we don't have air. So no, I get it. I get it, man. I do. There are bigger plights elsewhere. But this was supposed to be paradise where we lived. Best country in the world, supposedly. That was the promise. That was the promise. All right, enough of that. Enough political blah. Where does it get us? Just read George Orwell's 1984. And make your decision from there. He feels very rubbery. The entire suit feels rubbery. Really interesting feel. I mean, it feels like uh, feels like rubber. Which kind of scares me uh, in regards to longevity. Longevity? Longevity. Um... I don't know whether or not this suit is going to withstand the tests of time. And that's sad. Because he looks great. He looks great. I am afraid that the suit will dissolve. It might not. So that's what the suit looks like underneath. But the entire thing just feels rubbery. But it looks great. I mean, it looks great. And here's his head. Oh, it looks like him. I mean, it really does. Don't much care for the way that rooted... Um, line there is there. But for these guys to attempt this in the first place, I 
I think the knee's probably in the wrong spot, considering the length of the leg. Or maybe his species has a very short thigh and very long lower leg section. So I don't know whether or not the knee's in the right spot. But for my purposes, he'll be standing as such. Um, I mean, the mold looks pretty good. I can see fingernails on there. Fingers are pliable. Don't know if that's good or bad. Uh, the hair is definitely very plastic. So it's definitely going to stick out like that. And I don't remember whether or not his hair stuck out like that or not. I don't remember. I'm sorry. Uh, but if his hair stuck out like that, then you're good to go. If his hair didn't stick out like that, then we got a problem. I'm happy to have them. Very happy to have them. But then again, I was happy to have the Chitauri soldiers. Right? Which I think you can still buy brand spanking new someplace. I think they're still available new. Ebony Ma, Is that who this is? Proxima Moon Knight, and this one. Well, they made... Uh, oh, God, what's his name? Deadpool. Help me out. Juggernaut. He's the size of Hulk. Right? Oh, what was that uh, figure? The... the um, oh, my God. From the Captain... Uh, Carter figure. Uh, what if uh, we have um, Jesus Christ? We have Steve Rogers and we have the Hydra Stomper. That's what it is, the Hydra Stomper. By the way, that's a power pose figure. So we're talking about Mark 35, Mark, whatever you want to call it, Hulkbuster 2, whether you want to call it the uh, 48 or 49. I think we're still short. The one I refuse to accept, Pepper Potts as the 49. I don't give a damn what you say. Pepper Potts is not the Iron Man Mark 49. I don't give a damn what you say. But uh, so we're talking about a figure that's going to be similar to the Mark 35 Red Snapper and the uh, um, Hulkbuster 2. It's a power pose figure. So the only thing you're moving is the arms, the head. It claims you can move the waist. I only seen one picture out of all the pictures that they showed where the waist was in a different position and it moved like about that much. And uh, that would be the case with the Mark 35 where it moved about that much. And I disassembled that Mark 35 and made it move about that much. <laughs> but it still doesn't move like all the others. Um, the waist on the Hulkbuster 2 is definitely more articulated, but it's a power pose figure. So it's not going to be like that uh, Iron Monger in there, which you can really move him any way you want for the most part in regards to any of these figures. So it's a plastic power pose figure. It's been a long time since we've had a power pose figure. Those are the ones that are not articulated much at all. I think anything articulated less than 26 articulations is uh, they put it in the power pose. So um, it is a power pose figure. Uh Keep that in mind. And then, uh, 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 personally, I love a Korg. Oh, 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 my God. Why aren't we getting a Korg from anybody? I love Korg. I so want bad. I so badly want a Korg. I, want so bad, blah, blah. I so badly want a Korg. I agree. For real. Not floppy at all. Very there. Very there. 
very, very there. So, um, if you don't flip him about, if you don't start articulating him, if you don't start yanking him, seeing how far he can stretch, he should maintain his tightness. So I don't, I don't stretch my fingers apart anymore. I used to, when I first get him, I'd be like, uh, I would do something to the effect of, um, I can do it with the, uh, yeah, I can do it with this guy. Oh yeah, you can stretch them out like this and do that. And you can do this with them and go out as far and twist around like this and all that and whatever. What's the point? Why am I going to wear out my figure? No point in it. Especially now that I've learned through trial and error that by putting them in these beautiful poses, you damage them. Don't want to keep them in a pose longer than like a couple of days, they claim nowadays. Don't keep them in a pose longer than a couple of days. So it's funny. Um, as tall as he is, this is... This is what we get. No name on that, which is nice. Uh, somebody said one time I was asking them, I said, where's a good place to get little name badges in case you're using empty ones like this? Trophy shop. A trophy shop. Of course. Genius. I forget who it was, which one of you guys said that. That was genius. I've yet to do that. But you can have them make a trophy... Take it to a trophy shop. Take um, take one that you want them to try to re duplicate and take that to them. I, I don't know how much how how willing they would be to to duplicate an existing metal plate, for instance. Like if you had a uh, third party figure that you wanted to tie in with an Avengers type of a emblem that came out from Hot Toys, say hey, make it just like this. Only make it say whatever, uh, uh, cable or venom or whatever. You know, I don't know how willing they are in regards to, to doing that. They might do it without any questions, but crotch grabber definitely just appears in here. It's nice. You don't even get to see, you don't even see it. It's nice. It is funny though that they're using a crotch grabber as, as tall as he is. So you get uh, these two kind of relaxed hands. You get two straight up fists. They're closed up tight. You get one very specific pointing finger because he does a lot of pointing if I remember. And you get one holding something hand. And he comes with nothing to hold. What did he hold? Did he hold anything? I don't remember him holding anything. Why did we get a holding hand? Was there something that came in that box and I forgot that there was something else in that box that I took out of the box? Am I missing a piece? I don't believe so. I'm pleased to have them and I hope that we get them all. I really do. I really, really do. really do and i only ordered one i didn't see you need to get more than one uh i think these are possibly more gel dolls Ugh. i don't know i ordered every gosh darn gel doll i could find that i did do i'm trying to bust the code on the gel dolls i'm trying to find a seamless foot for my joy. I found a, a good doll, a good Jow doll for that particular figure, but I'm looking for a seamless foot one. And I've not found one yet. F seems to be the code for seamless foot. Non-detachable foot. F. So I'm looking for a an F, like that one. And I've not found it. I 
I mean, I've not even seen a code for an F that would be that breast size. So, I think this is John Dolls. If it is, I think this will give me every single gel doll that they currently have. I may be wrong. There may be others out there that I haven't figured out yet. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I've definitely got an education on gel dolls. I'm really liking them. Uh, especially with all the accessories that they come with. But yeah, there are more gel dolls. So what do we have? JLQ05 BYS. JLQ05 BYS. This must be the joy uh, figure that I was needing to uh, Fison her out. And you know what? I will probably never stop saying Fison out my figure. And since Fison doesn't use that name anymore, they call themselves TBD, I'm going to take it. I'm going to claim it as mine. That's my name now. I'm going to Fison that figure. jlq 9 fys So this would be the de non-detachable foot. Big bust. So what I need is, what I need is, J O Q O five F Y S. So if you can find me a J O Q O five F Y S, that's what I need for joy. That's what I need for joy. Guarantee you. Guarantee you. That's my joy. Now, not not this joy. This is a detachable foot joy. My non-detachable foot joy. That's what I need to find. And I've got this box. I don't know what's in it. It is from... Big Bad Toy Store. What did I buy from Big Bad Toy Store? I love the Big Bad Toy Store ships their boxes in boxes. I love that. I mean, I really do love that. Oh, ho, 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 CBS Sci-Fi got mine finally. Four months after you did. Four months after everyone else has got theirs. All of you probably all have yours, right? I'm probably the only one on the planet who just now got theirs. This is the Pepper Potts rescue suit. In case you weren't, in case you weren't certain what it was I was just showing you. When we were just talking about, just talking about that. And it's a good looking figure. Good looking figure.
So here's my argument about the Mark 49. There's lots of arguments, but this is a new argument you've not heard before. And here's the new argument. At the beginning of Infinity War, when we see Tony and Pepper, this is after uh, Bruce gets sent by Heindel to Earth to warn of Thanos, and Doctor Strange goes to the park and finds Tony and Pepper. Tony's wearing the Mark 50. And what's Pepper talking to him about? You don't need that. You don't need that. Hmm. She hated the suits. Now he says that she never wore anything, wore anything he ever bought in Endgame. He says it to his daughter, Organa. But he says he needs it to protect us. If she had a Mark 49 suit, because he's wearing a 50, and this is the 49, when he went up on the ship with Spider-Man, her butt would have been in that suit to get his ass. And we would have seen her wearing that suit. Why did she not put the suit on? Why didn't she go rescue him? It's the rescue suit. Because her rescue suits were made after that. In the five years' time, from when he came back to Earth, rescued by Captain Marvel, when he came back to Earth, he modified his suits up to Mark 85. So he made 35 suits in five years' time. And he got her suits, which I don't think she had a problem with anymore. Because obviously, literally, the shit hit the fan. And she 100% was sold on the idea of needing a suit. And she was guaranteeing herself, saying to herself, God damn it, if I hadn't been so adamant against your suits, because she hated the suits. Remember, she was attacked by the Mark 42. She hated the suits. Um... She said, probably said to herself, you know what? If I wasn't so against the suits, I could have saved your life in the first place. We wouldn't have gone through this whole hassle. I'd gone out there and kicked some ass when you disappeared in that first place. She didn't get the suit. He called a suit for Spider-Man. Why didn't he call a suit for her? Why didn't she call a suit? Because there was no suit. There was no Mark 49 suit laying around for her to snatch, to get into. She would have rescued her man. Don't sit, don't tell me that she wouldn't have gone and rescued her man. Come on. She would have donned the rescue suit and rescued her man. That's why the rescue suits were made. He got back to earth. Him and her sat down and she says, I want a fucking suit. You ain't doing that shit again. You get in some, involved in some shit like that again, I'm getting in a suit and I'm going to rescue your ass. And that's how they started with the suits. And that's where she got her Mark 49 in that five-year period. Yeah. Between Iron Man 2 and Iron Man 3, how many years was that? Two, two years? Three years at most? Between those two movies? And he went from... Uh, Mark 7 to Mark 42. So he made 30 four suits in two years time. Yeah. In five years time, he'd have no problem making 80 suits. Especially because now they're nanotechnology. He just has to design them. Doesn't even have to build them now. Just design them and let the nanobites, nanobots, build the suit for him as he needs it. And what are in whatever fabricated form he needs. So no, the Mark 49 is not rescues Mark 49. I don't give a damn. 
And that's my new argument. And, and it doesn't change the original argument, which was very specifically, her suit says 0049. None of his suits have two zeros before them. Not a single one. Every suit he's ever made for anybody else has their own numbering sequence. Now, granted, Hammer made the uh, War Machine Mark I from the Iron Man Mark II. And it has two zeros in front of it also. Zero, zero, 001. And they continued with that. 002, 003, 004. All of, the, all of uh, Rhodey's suits have two zeros in front of them. Her suit has two zeros in front of it. The only time we actually see numbers on Tony's suits, specifically, is the Mark 42 when he's sitting on the couch. Pepper comes home, and he, you know... She sees the Mark 42 sitting on the couch. She goes, what is that? Uh, Mark 15? And he looks at his forearm. And right there it says, MK, number four, number two. Not Roman numerals, by the way. Number four, number two. So if he's numbering his suits, he's not numbering the numer Roman numerals. Except the first seven, because we see that on the Hall of Armor in the garage. They have Roman numerals on them. Someplace along the line, before at, at Mark 42, he decided to no longer use Roman numerals and put 4-2. He didn't put 0 0 4, He didn't put 0 4, He put 4-2. This is not Iron Man's Mark 49. This is Pepper Potts' 49th suit. Because she hounded Tony when he came home. You better make me a suit or I'm going to kill you. You disappear like that again on me and make me worry about you being off on some off-world little thing flying around in space and I can't come rescue you? No, I'm coming to rescue you. You better make me a suit right now to come rescue your ass. I will do that. I will make you a rescue suit. I will make you a rescue suit to rescue me the next time I get zapped into space on a spaceship. He was in the Mark 50. Why didn't she get in the 49 and go rescue his ass? It's the rescue suit. Please. Really? I was really hoping that we were going to see something in uh, Black Widow. There was rumors. I mean, even up, to, even the moment the movie's in the theaters, they're still showing Robert Downey Jr. as being in the, in the movie, and he wasn't. And Robert Downey Jr. never said he was going to be in the movie. He always said he wasn't in the movie. And uh, I was really hoping that we would get an answer to the 4849 then, because that was around the same time frame as that. That, that whole... Black Widow movie happened during that same time frame. So we didn't get an answer there. I'm hoping that we'll get an answer somewhere. I really am. But no, this is not Tony Stark's 49th suit. I don't give a damn what you say. You're wrong. I'm going to stand behind that opinion forever. Until Kevin Feige himself says otherwise. Hey, Ryan Meanderding can say whatever he wants. Anybody working on the graphic arts, whether works or whatever it is that makes these, they can say whatever they want. Until Kevin Feige or John Favreau say, yeah, that's the Mark 49. And even then I'm going to look at him and say, oh, you're full of shit. I'll be like the red shirt guy at the... Uh, um, Conventions. What, what was a video game that he was doing that for? Um, it was a World of Warcraft. Redshirt guy would come up and point out all the errors that they'd done in the game. 
She is beautiful. What an amazing figure. I, I thought when I saw the images of this, uh, when I ordered it, that she was blue and silver. I even thought that from the movie. But it's definitely blue and gold with very small sections of silver. It's really a good looking suit. Really a good looking suit. And I'm definitely going to have to read the instruction manual on this. I've been begging for a Pepper Potts figure. I mean, I want a figure. Uh, I mean, we got Iron Man 3. That's how long ago we had one. I'd like a Pepper figure, a Today Pepper figure. Somebody told me that there's a head sculpt out there. I don't remember if I had found it or not. It's so cute, her little hands. So cute. Um, but I would love to have a, an updated Pepper Potts. A 50-year-old Pepper Potts. Follow me. Or 40. Let's just say let's just say 45. How's that? See how she looks. Let's see if they uh, re-sculpted this or if they used the Mark 42 or Mark um, 9 head sculpt. Oh, well, it's definitely a new sculpt. See, that's another, another mistake that they made. See, mistakes are made. Um, the um, Pepper came with the Mark 9. Uh, because they told us that was the suit that was used to destroy Killian. That was a suit that she put her hand into the suit arm and discharged the repulsor thruster and killed Killian. And um, was not the Mark IX. And any of you diehard real Iron Man fans know that. It was the Mark 8. And we've never got a Mark 8. I'm hoping we get a Mark 8 now that they're die casting the Iron Man figures. Now that they've made a Mark 21, right? I was I'm truthfully under the impression or under the opinion that because they re-released the Mark 21, which of course, as you guys know. It's just the Mark Seven painted gold. It is. That if they're going to make re-release that one, which of course is a money grab, la 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 la, that they're going to do the rest. That's what I'm really hoping. I'm really hoping that they finish off the set. I really am hoping that we get them all, specifically the Mark Eight, because the Mark Eight is what Pepper used, not the Mark Nine. They're very similar suits, okay? Um, the difference is in the shin. It's the shin. The Mark Eight has the shin of the Mark 33. The Mark Nine has the shin of the Mark um, 17, the Heartbreaker. The Mark Nine and the Mark 20 are virtually identical. The difference being the pelvis. Same chest, same legs, different hips, different pelvis. One has the pelvis of the Mark 7. The other has the pelvis of the Mark 17. That's the difference between the Mark 9 and the Mark 20. And the difference between the Mark 9 and the Mark 8 is the shins, is a uh, the Mark 33, Silver Centurion on the Mark 8. I think... And I might be wrong here. I think also the forearms may be from the Mark 22 hot rod. Now, I may be guessing there. But I know for a fact the shins are the Mark 33. And that's what you can notice in the movie when that Mark 9 shows up or the Mark 8 shows up. Look at the shins 
And you'll see that very clearly defined line on the front of it that is on the Mark 33. And that tells you it's the Mark 8, not the Mark 9. So they made a mistake before. They made a mistake before. They never said, sorry, you're right, you busted us. We made a mistake. It is the Mark 8. They just left it alone at the Mark 9. There's Pepper. Love. I love Pepper. Love her. But her ass would have been in this suit rescuing Tony. For fact. For fact. The simple fact that she wasn't is because there was no Mark 49. Those five years she'd have been combing him, combing for him, or however long he was gone. No, wait, he wasn't gone five years. He was gone, what, uh, two weeks? So two weeks he was gone? I think it was two weeks. Those two weeks she would have been looking for him, not hanging out, crying at Avengers headquarters. Avengers headquarters, wondering where her Tony was. Her butt would have been looking for him. And if you think I'm kidding, ask your woman or ask your man, whatever the case may be. Just say, hey, if you had the means to rescue me, would you just let me be or would you come rescue me? But ask your loved one. Ask your loved one if they had the ability to come rescue you, if they would come do it. I can't imagine somebody who truly loves you would say, nah, I'd leave you. I would leave you. Sucks to be you. Nice knowing you. Good luck in the future. Have fun out there. Mm -mm. Oh, sir. I guarantee you when he came home, she gave him an earful. And she said, you're building me a suit. You're not leaving me like that ever again. We ain't playing that game ever. And when he threw the Mark 42 on her, it didn't form fit her. This suit is form fit. All right. Now, I'm going to say that it's nanotechnology. But I'll ask you this. The Mark 47 had some nano capabilities to it, but the entire suit wasn't, it wasn't nano. Hulkbuster 2 certainly was not nano, not the entire suit. Why would he give her the prototype? Oh. So she gets the first nano, fully complete nano suit to see if it kills her. Give me a break. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I know some of you are absolutely adamant that this is a Tony Stark suit. That she just happens to be wearing a Tony Stark suit. I'm telling you you're wrong. I'm telling you you're wrong. You're wrong. 
You're wrong. Wrong. Now take it to my grave. JB, how you doing, man? I ain't seen you in a while. How's the Netherlands treating you? Sorry about my rant and rave about Mark 49, but I believe it. Infamous Toys is an offshoot of Toys Era. Oh, well, that's reassuring, actually. I like Toys Era toys. Pick up that ZD Toys Mark 7 diecast figure. Looks real good. What scale is that? What scale is that? The head sculpt looks sweet. does look nice looks real nice the Bad Max figures on my list put him on in that hernia <laughs> like it was an outer space I think he's 50 in the movie, yeah. Late 40s at least. Yeah, I agree. 49 year pepper would be beautiful. I think she's I think she's probably 49 in real life right now. I think that's how old she is. I know Tony's like I know Robert Downey Jr. is like 55 in real life. And Endgame was five years after Infinity War, right? Infinity War was ten years after the first Iron Man, right? So, however old they were supposed to be at that time frame. So, at Endgame, they would be 15 years older than they were in Iron Man 1. Looks uh, the same. You think this is the Mark 7? No. No way. No. No. Looks nothing like a Mark 7. It's very organic. So I would definitely say that it's uh, nanotech. Well, it would have to be. She fabricated these. So it is nanotech. And you think he make, gave her the prototype? You think he gave her the first nanotech suit? Come on. Remember, the Mark 41 was the first prehensile flight suit. And the Mark 42 tried to kill her. You think she's going to be like, oh, you have, you have experimental technology, a nanotechnology suit that just forms itself around me, and then the nano robots just makes a suit, and you go and give that to me, and you don't, you don't have, you don't have one, and you want me to, wear, that's what, is that what we're doing now, Tony? That's where we are? You want me to wear an experimental suit? Did you forget that Mark 42 tried to kill me? Did you forget that? So he uses uh, AG1 LR621s for the head, AG3 LR41s for the chest. Um, the thighs have AG1 LR621, so that's the same as the head. Uses three of those. The forearms uses two AG1 LR621s. So you have three in the head, three in each thigh, two in the forearms. And three AG3 LR41s in the back, which like the chest. So she's going to be beautiful lit up. I'm not going to have time to light her. I'll have to uh, carry this over to next week. All right, guys. I really want to give her some time. I want to. I really want to spend some time on her. I'm not going to rant and rave on her next week. 
I'm just going to play with my figure. And I'll, I also want to get Michelle out and put the other uh, outfit on her. And I also want to Fison, now that I have it, my other Joy. So uh, so next week we're going to we're going to finish up Pepper here. We're going to put Michelle together, two of those, because I bought two, so I can do that. Um, and uh, I'll probably fight some the joy here like I did on the other one. Uh, Looking to see if anything is really different here. I want to play with her a little bit. Oh, that looks neat. The forearm armors can be moved up. That's cool. Hmm. Move armor A from the figures back to attach armor B. Oh, for doing the this piece for this piece. Oh, there's two ways you can pose it. Nice. Very cool. All right. That's cool. That's cool. And we have the uh, infamous articulated posing stand with this, which doesn't hold die cast figures. And she's die cast. So. In lots of areas say. Uh, oh, so she's got um, evidently. What is this? This in the chin upward pushes the indicated back of neck into figure's body proportionally. What? It doesn't push shit. I guess they're saying don't do that. Oh, it does. Okay. Uh, so the last time I saw this was on the... Um, the shot, uh, shotgun, Mark, um, help me out, 40. I'll show you this. This is neat. I don't remember seeing this on any other figure. You see that? That back portion of that neck slides down, okay? So what is that good for? One of the really neat things that the Mark 40 does is you can put it into this extreme, like for real, flight pose and put the put the head like looking straight. And with this, that's pretty doggone close to it. That's cool. I like that. Uh, like I said, the only other time I remember seeing that was with the Mark 40 shotgun. And that's cool. So you can get her into a real flight pose. Should you desire to pose your figure in this manner, you can put her into a for real flight pose. That's neat. I like that. And uh, just by lifting the head, it pushes that back. And then as soon as you put the head back down, the neck piece goes back forward. That's cool. That's really cool. And we get the nice flaps on the back. I've always loved the, uh, the flaps on the back. I was uh, quite shocked when they changed with the diecast Mark 7, but then I was quite uh, intrigued to find out that the diecast Mark 7 was actually correct and the plastic Mark 7 was wrong on the way the flaps worked. 
So this is nice to, to get back to those flaps, which I like. Those of you that have the Diecast Mark 7, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The flaps are totally different than they were on the other uh, Marks. Um, and uh, specifically the plastic Mark 7, which would include Mark 9, uh, the Mark um, 20, the Mark 21, the... Um, what am I missing out on here? Is there another Mark 7? Top body. Do all those on the floor. No, that's it. So the Mark, um, the Mark 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, and 21, and 20 all have this uh, type of a uh, back to them, right? And then when the Diecast Mark 7 came out, Totally different. Totally different. And I was like, oh, they screwed this up. Nope, they actually made it right. So the others were wrong. The classic ones were wrong, which meant the 9 is wrong, and the 20 is wrong, and the 21 is wrong. So. Nice to see that. I'm sure it was that way in the movie. I hope. And it says that these go up. Let's see what else did it say. Hmm. Of course this. And these. Okay. We're pulling her little feet down. The feet can come down for posing the feet, the getting articulations in there. But the two lights go in the forearm, three lights go in the back, three lights go in the head, and three lights go in the thighs. So she lights up like a 46, 47, etc., etc. Uh, let's see what else. I'll play with these here in a minute. Let's see if there's anything else that I skipped over. All right, so she comes with uh, two fists. which appear to will appear to light up. Sometimes the closed fists do, sometimes they don't. These appear to have um, a lens in it so that they'll light up. She comes with two old school um, thruster hands. And I say old school because it reminds me of like uh, Mark IV, Mark VI, how they do that. Instead of it being a full on up, more of a, one of these things, which is going to make it easier to light it because the light's straight into it. When it go up like this, sometimes the light doesn't go through here if you're lighting yours up. So we get two of these and then we get two articulated hands. And like I said, these fingers are just so gosh darn cute. Little bitty fingers. Um... So the articulated fingers, you can pose them however you wish, including making a fist. And they actually appear to be an improvement over, for instance, even the Mark VII. Um, So I think I can get a tighter fist in this than I can in the Mark VII. Well, that's interesting to think about. Getting a pretty good fist here. I 
That's a nice fist. It's not bad at all. And it's the, the that first knuckle that is different. That's nice. Face mask fits weirdly. Um, there's a little lip down here in the bottom of the, goes over the chin, I'm trying to get it in here. I'm having some difficulty. Pushing it in and it pops out. So I have it in, the chin is in. There we go, finally got it in. So you have to be, I have to be pretty specific in getting it in there. It didn't want to snap into that chin every time I would put the chin in there and then I'd press the top, it, the chin would pop out. So I, I had to be very specific getting it in there. Good thing is then, it's going to be difficult to get this off. But if I'm putting this this head sculpt on, I'm it's going to be open. I'm not going to put this on it and just close it up. If I'm putting a head sculpt in, by golly, it's going to be open. And that's how that sits. Right there. And I didn't look to see how detailed the insides get. So there have been times where they've really made a really detailed insides, and there are times when they don't. And on this one, they kind of only halfway did it. So it's not really as detailed as could be. But there's the inside of that. All right. So now let's see how this goes on the back of that. Peter gets a red parachute and Rody gets the plop. Um, makes you wonder if maybe the parachute came after Rody's plop. <laughs> Good question. Uh, hide your stomper, right? Let's see where we at. Mad Max figures on my list. I love the Mad Max movies. I do. Love them all. Also love the uh, Lethal Weapon movies, too. The suit is rubber or silicone. Use Honda silicone grease. It works on my Venom pool and 3-0 Ninja Turtles. Thank you, Loco Lou. How long have you been putting it on there? And do you have to reapply it after a period of time? And is there any side effect to it? And that's exactly what it feels like. It feels like those suits. That's exactly what it feels like. Now that you now that you brought that to my attention. It's exactly what the suit feels like it's made out of. So I'm curious, how often do you have to put it on there? Is there any side effect to it? Or is it just one and done? Thank you for that, local. You pick up Mad Max 2. It kind of reminds me of the Crypt Keeper. Crypt Keeper. Hey, you're showing your age. <laughs> I love the Crypt Keeper. Uh, on Pepper, it's, it's sculpted head. That's hair is sculpted into her. Um, that's sculpted into that. She looks great. 
she looks great. I really want a, uh, I really want an updated pepper full head. I really do. Yeah, uh, put, uh, Jesus, what's his name again? I, I don't remember how tall he is next to Thanos. He's tall. He's definitely tall. Um, I'll put him here next to Pepper and next to Bruce. I don't know how tall he is next to Thanos. I don't. I'm sorry. But they definitely made him tall. No doubt about it. Hydra Stomper, that's right. It's half a power pose movement in head, shoulders, elbows, hands, fingers, and waist. Yeah, and they said the waist, and like I said, it, there's only one picture of the pictures that they showed out. Of all the 10 or 15 or 20 pictures of whatever it is that they, they posted of him. Actually, more than that, because we have, uh, he's in uh, two um, orders there, right? You can get him by himself, or you can get him uh, with Steve. And... Uh, uh, I think I ordered two Steves. I ordered two for fact of those because I want to pose. Um, I want to pose him with Captain Carter on on his back, and then I want to pose him with Steve. So I want to pose Captain Carter, Steve, and Hydra Stomper, and then I want to pose Captain Carter fighting with the Hydra Stomper. That's my. That's what I'd like to pose. That's what I'd like to pose. So I think I ordered two of those, and I don't remember if I ordered two Steves. I think I ordered. Both of them with the Steves. I don't remember if I ordered one Hydra Stomper and one one Deluxe set with Hydra and Steve, or if I just ordered one Hydra Stomper and one, or if I ordered two Hydra Stompers with Steve. I'm, I'm, I, I think I ordered two Hydra Stompers with Steve. Because what I'd like to do is I'd like to use a Steve Sculpt head on little Steve. That's what I'd like to do. Because I hate the cartoon heads. I hate them. Yeah, I get it. But I want I want the character's head on that. I really do. I really do. And that's only because the cartoon is a representation of the MCUs. And boy, could you imagine if they make Loki from this last what if. <laughs> He'd be this big. Or more? Probably 20 feet tall? But anyhow, like I said, the one picture that they show with that waist moved, it's only moved like this much. So there's like, I don't know, four or five bolts on the front of it or something to that effect. And, you, and there's this like this uh, little line thing here. That you can see where they're lined up at. And so they're lined up on this one side. And so all the pictures, it's in this exact same spot. Except one picture, it's moved over to like this much. And that's it. And I'm afraid that might be the extent of the movement that it does. The Mark 35, that's all it moves. I mean, that much. That's it. If you happen to have a red snapper, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And I customized my red snapper, so he moves a lot more. He moves about that much. But... It was a lot of work to do that, and I won't do that again. I'll tell you that for a fact. Do you have all the Iron Mans that they have made them all? I do not. I am missing the um, original Mark Three. I mean, the original, original Mark Three. The original, 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 original Mark Three. So I have an original Mark Three think. And I'm also missing the original, 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 original Mark 1. So my Mark 1 is a 
And uh, I don't remember if I have a plastic Mark III or not. I think I only have a die-cast Mark III. But the suits I'm missing are not important to me because I have better representations of them. And then there's the extremely rare ones. For instance, the Mark VII was released also as a chocolate and a white chocolate. So I have the um, Stealth and the Arctic or Sub-Zero or Sub-Arctic, whatever it's called, which are the same things as the chocolate and the white chocolate. It's just that the chocolate and the white chocolate came with a figure base that said chocolate on it and white chocolate. Um, in addition to the one that said Stealth and um, Subarctic or whatever it's called. I don't have that one. And I also don't have the Mark VI uh, movie series, which came up with, a, with a, a lighted figure base. So the figure base on that was lighted. Uh, I also don't have the milk war machine, nor the first plastic war machine. So my war machine Mark I is die cast. I never bought a plastic war machine. So I don't have the milk war machine, and I don't have the plastic war machine. So um, uh, all of those suits, all the plastic ones, are not important to me in the first place. So like the Mark III plastic, the Mark I 1.0 is, is uh, not important to me. Um, and the uh, the milk and the Mark One War Machine plastic are not important to me because I have the Mark One die cast, War Machine Mark One die cast, and uh, the Mark Six with the light up base. Jeez, I think that's one that they only made like um, three hundred of or something to that effect. It's one of the only ones that they actually numbered. And then there's one that they, they numbered that's only made like 25 of. Extremely rare. And then there's uh, another one that I think that they made um, the... Uh, so they have the holographic one, okay? The Mark IV that they made as a holographic. They made a green and blue one of the Mark III, I think, that was never released. So that's out there somewhere. Um, so yeah, there's like maybe six suits that I don't have that are, that are either a not important enough for me to try to track down, i.e. the milk or B are just not worth getting, i.e. the Mark one and the Mark three originals, just not worth getting or the Mark one war pet war machine to me, it's just not worth it. But like the, uh, the Mark six movie with the light up base, sheesh, I doubt I would ever even have one of those. But I've got the Mark III. Let's see. The Mark III is the gunmetal, right? And the Mark IV is the secret project. So I have those. So I'm very happy to have. I sold one of them. I think I sold the Mark III gunmetal. Um, my wife had her cardiac arrest years back. Make up for bills. But uh, I bought it. I bought another one when um, the money started coming back in again. I hated, I hated getting rid of that one. Uh, uh, mine was in perfect condition. This was not in bad condition. But uh, those are the ones I don't have. What am I messing with here? Where's this come out at? I'm going to have to read the instructions to figure out how to get that out. I'll have to check that in a second. I sold some while ago. Yeah, and I've, I've got them all back. All the ones I sold, I've bought back. So I got the Mark 47 back, I got my Hella back, and I got my Mark uh, 3 back that I sold. So. Hold I have Agamotto, or however you say it. Uh, 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 Hold a hand is more for 
gestures as if he was controlling an object. Ah, okay, I got you. Like, you know, gestures. Seamless foot for joy would be nice. Yeah, the F. I need a 5F. Find me a 5FYS. 5FYS is what I need. That's the stuff she was selling. Deeply appreciate your Zhao research and development. Awesome. Good, sir. Thank you very much, Damon. Serious hitting it on the money. What bugs me is Colson alive or dead? Um, so I didn't watch Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., uh, I think what the story is, and I'm kind of pulling this out of my ass, is that uh, a skull agent, scroll agent, is who was killed. I think uh, Colson was up uh, on a ship, floating around the Earth, safe and sound, on a Tahiti vacation. So I think that's the story. I think that's the story. I don't know. I'm kind of pulling that out of my house because I didn't watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. either. I just watched the very first episode. And, and I, I I just didn't watch anymore. For no reason. I just didn't get around to watching anymore. And I remember I was like, what the fuck? He's alive? And then somebody said he doesn't know about Tahiti or something to that effect. So I think that's what happened. I'm trying to figure out where Captain America is. They made a reference to him in... Um, Winter Soldier and Falcon uh, television series, Disney Plus series. Where's Captain America right now? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Steve Rogers. Where's Steve? Uh, and the, what the story was with with the uh, Agents of Shield was that the uh, Agents of Shield followed the movies, but the movies didn't follow Agents of Shield. Supposedly is what they were saying at that time. I don't know where it is now. But I think it's supposed to be canon. Just different stories. Samuel Jackson's in it. Also. I wonder what Rhodey will upgrade since there's no Tony. I have a feeling the Potato Gun Kid from Iron Man 3 is going to be the new Tony. Plus, you have uh, um, T'Challa's sister. What's her name? Uh, Sur Sur uh, Suri? She's just as capable. Just as capable as Tony. But I'm a risky yet. I buy from a specific store and go pick them up. But it's a day trip for me. Oh, so until I have enough to make, yeah, a whole day trip. Holy cow. I currently have an uh, in game cap and rescue to get. Nice. I love her. I love her CBS Sci-Fi. And uh, I need to find out who the heck it is you buy your figures from. Tired of waiting, man. Jesus. How come Peter gets... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, I, I'm a Disney Plus subscriber and a Voodoo um, purchaser. So whatever's not on Disney Plus, I buy on Voodoo. So I'll, I'm done with discs. I just buy the Voodoo. So like all the Spider-Man movies and all the Transformer movies. I was buying all the Marvel movies, but don't need to now because Disney Plus. 50. Yeah, I think she's probably 50. And the Mark 9 is a combination of the Mark 7 and the Mark 17. So it has the Mark 7 top and the Mark 17 legs. So the legs are the Mark 17 and from the waist up is the Mark 7. So 7 up is the waist, 17 is the waist down. And I don't remember whether it has the 7 pelvis or the 17 pelvis. And that's the difference between the 20 and the 9 is the pelvis. She has these. So yes, and they move. And we'll have to uh, get to that next week because I'm, I'm going over time and I hate keeping you guys late. 
You guys are so good to me. I don't I don't like abusing uh I don't like abusing the time that you give me. I I love you guys and I appreciate it. I can very easily believe that this is the 49th iteration of the rescue. Thank you. Tony Bill for Pepper. Thank you, Dagarancis. Thank you. What Iron Man was in Iron Man 3? 42. Everything from Mark 7 to 42 was in Iron Man 3. Including the first six that they blew up as well. But uh, from 7 to 42 was in Iron Man 3. You made it for her. The blue one is for her, I think. I agree, Thomas. Thank you. Michelle, you mean Mary Jane? <laughs> there obviously is a Mary Jane in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. There has to be. Even though this is Earth 199999, five nines, 199999, there still is a Mary Jane Watson. Unless she died tragically someplace in between that. She attended a different school. She was the niece of Emma Watson, which was a friend of Aunt May Parker's. Um, so um, May and Emma, right? Emma Watson was in her name, would go out all the time. And Emma kept saying, uh, I think that was her name. You need to meet, my niece needs to meet your nephew. They need to get together to be a good couple. And for, I mean, I don't know how long this went on. A, a couple of years, maybe. They kept trying to put the two together. And every time that she was supposed to hook up and meet Peter, Peter would like ditch like he was always doing, like jumping out the windows and going out the back doors and everything to avoid this, okay? He, 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 um, he Gwen died, which he felt totally responsible for. Um, he had a thing for Liz, but he quickly gave up on Liz, uh, especially because he felt like she was pretty shallow. Um, he had the whole thing with Fleetcha Hardy, Black Cat, and um, Betty Bryant. So uh, he'd had girlfriends, per se. Um, so he really wasn't in the mood to get in with Mary Jane or meet any other girl at all at this point in his life and uh, his short life. As a matter of fact. And uh, so literally, he's like getting ready to dip. Uh, Aunt May's like, oh, no, no, uh, Emma's, uh, Miss, uh, Emma's sending her niece over. He's like, I'm out of here. He opens up the door and bam, she's right there. And she's drop dead gorgeous. And she literally says, face it, Tiger, you just hit the jackpot. And from that whole thing, from that whole thing, he became known as Tiger. She always called him Tiger. Okay? So, there has to be a Mary Jane. There has to be a Mary Jane in this universe. I mean, hell, we have a Deadpool. We have a Spider Ham. <laughs> and a Peter Porker, right? We have a Peter Porker. Come on. You know there's a Mary Jane in this universe. You got me excited about next week's episode. Thank you, Damon. Thank you, thank you, Damon. Tony had a nanotech suit when he stood with Doctor Strange in New York. Mark 50. Mark 49. The other one is the Hulkbuster, uh, Hulkbuster 2, which was not nano. Not the whole suit. So we know that the helmets would retract, right? So obviously there was some type of uh, nanotechnology there. We've seen them with the little um, watch that he turned into a hand to defend himself against Winter Soldier in Civil War. So, you know, uh, we watch him push his finger on in the helicopter with the 46. So there was nano-capable suits, but not to the extent that the Mark 50 was. It was all contained right there. So what did he do? He gave her the prototype when the Mark 42 tried to kill her. I doubt it. I doubt it. I doubt it. She's going to look good. Great with the lights. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. Jake, morning. Man, you are late. Thanks. You missed a great time, man. You missed me ranting and raving and going off. I went off on everything, man. Thank you very much. 
Thank you. I agree. Rescue looks beautiful. She is a beautiful figure. I love the blue. Yes, I definitely have to light her up. I got the rescue from Big Bad Toy Store. I sure did. I have an Asian version of Vampirella. Yes, I love my. I love all my Vampirellas. I have them all. I have all the Vampirella figures made by Executive TBD Fison, however you want to call it. Yeah, yeah. I desk. I got one of them sitting on a. Uh, I've got both versions. One of the second release, Lady Death. Um, the second release one, I think, is what I have sitting in the throne. Uh, uh, I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say, Thomas, I don't want to tell you. And then you move them and you break them. I'm scared to say. All right, right. I'm with you, CBS Sci-Fi. I know I'm with you. Who's the big, the bad, the big, the big, what was it called? The, uh, the bad, the rope, the, uh, the uh, fuck, the good, bad, and evil robot. What the hell is that called in the UK? Is that who you buy it from? I'm trying to find out who gets them off. Hermione would be a good Mary Jane for Tom Holland. Hmm. And, and you know what? They don't have to get together. If they want Tom Holland's Spider-Man to marry Zendaya's uh, um, Michelle Johnson, beautiful. I don't care. That's the that's that's that Marvel universe. You know, that's that universe. If that's the the way that they decide to go, good. You know, when you think of this the whole uh, Spider Verse movie the cartoon, I loved it. You know, when um, Busted Up Peter, which I'm almost positive is supposed to be 616 Spidey. Um, I have some problems specifically saying he's 616 Spidey. But there's a, a, a when Kingpin is um, uh, have, has his team um, creating that uh, uh, hole, more or less, and sucking all of them in there, it says one of them is connected to Earth 616. We know Spider Noir is not from 616. We know Peter Porker is not from 616. Now, um, what was her name? Penny from The Girl from the Future? Maybe she could have been her 616 in the future. Maybe that could have been her. Other than that, we know Spider Gwen wasn't from 616. So that leaves only Hobo Busted Up Peter as being the original, the canon, the solid, the 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 main line comic is Earth 616. That's the main line. That's the main timeline. Earth 616. Or they didn't know what they were naming and they just happened to name that 616 and it really wasn't 616 that it came from. So those are the two possibilities. Cuz remember when Mysterio was feeding his line of crap to Nick Fury, who we find out was actually a Skrull agent. Um, he said, this is Earth-616. And as soon as he said that, because I was buying in on it too, that Mysterio was you know, from another universe. I didn't know what the whole story was at that point. I'm buying his bullshit. When he said, this is Earth-616, talking about Furies and, and the Tom Holland's universe, the Marvel Cinematic Universe was Earth-616, I was like, hold on, wait a minute, no, 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 no. No, it's not. So then two things came to my mind. Either A, the writers have lost a goddamn mind and was making up some bullshit, or Mysterio didn't know what the hell he was talking about. And of course, it ended up being Mysterio didn't know what the hell he was talking about. So, if they want to give Earth 199999 Spider Man Michelle Johnson to be his true love forever, because evidently he never dated Betty Bryant. But he had a thing for Betty, 616, remember? And then Betty hooked up with Leeds, right? They kind of touched on the Liz thing. Where the hell's Gwen? There's no Gwen even mentioned in the MCU. Tell me she don't exist. 
And Felicia, did, did they have a Felicia? Did they, did they show Felicia? I don't remember seeing Felicia. Was Felicia mentioned anywhere? Silver Sable, right, 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 right. I don't care, I'll stay here all and talk with you. It's great, thank you. All the time you need. Harry Potter, Emma Watson would be a great Mary Jane Watson. Oh, perfect namesake even, yeah. I agree. And I, I would love to see it. I'd love to see a Mary Jane. Uh, but obviously, you know, we can't call her MJ at that point because that's just shitty. You know what I mean? If you have a girlfriend and you call her whatever you want to call her, Schnookums, Sugar Pie, Sweetie Pumpkin, whatever. If you move on to another girlfriend, you don't call her the same name. Now, you can get away with calling her baby. But if you have a specific name for her, like MJ, you wouldn't dare call your next girlfriend MJ. Would you like it if that's how your girlfriend treated you? If she had a guy that she was with for a little while and she called him, oh God, I don't know, Duke. Duke was her guy and her and Duke broke up and she starts dating you and decides to call you Duke. Would you like that? I sure as hell wouldn't. Well, who are you, who are you talking to? Are you talking to me? Or are you talking to the old guy? I mean, are you missing him? And that's why you call me him? Because I replaced him, and but I'm really not my own. I'm not as good as he was. So I get his used name. So you stop dating Michelle Johnson to date Mary Jane, and you're going to call them both MJ? That's wrong. That's wrong. Deadpool would do it. <laughs> I love Deadpool. I love Deadpool. It would keep you from forgetting. That's why it's just safe to call everyone baby. I love you, baby. Bay. You're my bay. You're my baby. What's up, baby? Say my name. Say my name. When no one is around you. Say, baby, I love you. Why the sudden change? Say my name. Say my name. You're acting kind of crazy. Be calling me baby. Mm -mm. Don't work out like that. You know that. I'm going to let you guys go. I've kept you for 15 minutes over. We got a lot going on, don't we? Holy cow, we got a lot going on. I think I got figures coming for next week also. Got to play catch up. Got to play catch up. So I'm going to cut you all loose. Um, we definitely have a lot going down next week. So thank you very much for tuning in. If you want to tip me, I have a Patreon, www.patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O.com forward slash Siri Emerald, S-I-R-I-E-M-E-R-A-L-D. Throw a dollar my way, throw $5 my way, throw $100 my way. Got nothing to promise you other than just continued content. I appreciate it. Just throw me a tip if you have it. You don't have to pay for anything here. This is just us sitting around talking and having a good time. I pay for my own figures. I buy all these figures. I've had gift. I've had a gift figure from um, collectors. Thank you. Thank you. I love that figure. Um, so um, I can't say I've bought all of these myself specifically. But no, YouTube doesn't pay for these. Mm -mm. And if you were if you were sending money to Patreon... And if you're just sending a dollar or whatever, it would take a lot of you to um, pay for these figures. So, no, these I bought these figures. They're just, I'm just spending time with you, just talking smack. And I love you guys spending time with me. And my wife loved that I had you guys. She was really concerned and happy that um, we have this relationship. And uh, so she would be, I'd like to think she's resting in peace knowing that I have you guys to talk to. So... Thank you very much. Tune in next week. Uh, I, I plan on seeing the Ten Rings this next week. I plan on watching Aquaman again. I already saw that, but I want to watch it again this time with renewed eyes, knowing 
the uh, the story of the other characters before that, seeing how much of that ties in. If anything, I don't think any I don't think any of the other characters make any appearance whatsoever in the Aquaman movie, if I remember correctly. Unlike Wonder Woman, which kind of continues on with the story of uh, Batman and that photograph, right from BVS. That was interesting. Kind of like that. Um, and uh, I guess that's it. So see you all next week. Thank you very much for tuning in. I love you guys. Peace. See you on the next video.